Okay, so the UFC versus boxing. Now, you guys heard a few of my thoughts before, some brief little thoughts before in another video that I made. But I want to talk about this a little bit more because there's people on YouTube that are saying that boxing is a bitch sport and UFC is a man sport and all this bullshit and this and that and the other and all that. But the fact of the matter is they're both men's sports. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boxing fan to the death. That's my number one sport over the UFC any fucking day. That's just the way that it's always been. That's the way it's always going to be for me. But it takes a man to do either one. Whenever a man gets in the ring and, and, stands across from another man and puts his body on the line and his life on the line and willing to hurt himself to entertain a crowd that that that's a man right there that's a warrior i respect all fighters you know what i'm saying so to say that either sport is a bitch sport i don't agree they both got their their um their ups and downs as far as which one is better you know what i'm saying now what makes boxing better to me is that it's a craft it's an art you have to you have to you can only use your hands. You have to have a game plan. You have to be you have to be willing to get in there and go 10 to 12 rounds, whatever how, however many rounds it is. You got to be willing to stand there and throw punches and you got to have good defense. You got to be able to have good counter punching skills and it's, it's, it's a difficult sport. A lot of people who are onto this UFC don't realize how difficult boxing is. Because when I was a kid, a little bit younger, I was going to the gym every day. I've had some, some little, you know, bullshit, little amateur matches, you know what I'm saying, out in Chino Hills, you know what I'm saying. I'm from Pomona. We used to have matches with catch from, from, um, from the Chino Hills gym. And this shit is hard, man. By the time, you know, the, the third, fourth round comes around, you're exhausted, you know what I'm saying. And it's a tough sport. Now, the UFC, on the other hand, yeah, that's a tough sport as well because you got to watch out for kicks. You got to protect your arm for somebody might grab it and twist that shit up. Or, or, you know, they got the ground and pound shit where somebody can stand over you and pound the shit out of you. That shit right there, man, that shit takes some heart and guts to do too. You know what I'm saying? But think about it like this, okay? What UFC fighter is going to last in the ring with a boxer you know just like what boxer is going to last in the ring with a ufc fighter it's not going to happen because it's two totally different sports okay but for those of you who are saying that boxing is a bitch sport you tell me this man who what, what ufc fighter is going to want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the legend like mike tyson who was knocking everybody out and now if mike tyson had them little gloves on Who's what are they gonna want to do? They're gonna want to take him down to the ground immediately. Who's gonna want to stand? What UFC fighter is gonna want to stand toe to toe with uh, with a puncher like that? You know what I'm saying? And not just him. There's tons of them. You know what I mean? There's tons of boxers who UFC fighters wouldn't even want to dare even try to step in a boxing ring against because they know that they can't grab his arm and twist it up. They can't slam him down on the ground. They can't stand over them and punch them they can't do any of that shit they got to stand on their feet and hope that mike tyson don't land that punch to knock them the fuck out you know what i'm saying so for those of you man i know see the ufc man a lot of you catch man or a lot of these racist motherfuckers are the ones who are leaving me these comments about boxing is a bitch sport and all this shit ufc is number one and all that shit and i'm noticing you know what i'm saying these racist motherfuckers are starting to get really bold with this you with this ufc shit man that shit got them motherfuckers hyped up man they think that you know what i'm saying that they can whoop some ass now just because they watch this shit on tv you know, calling me a nigger and a monkey boy and all this bullshit, you know what I'm saying, on their damn keyboards and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But when I see these motherfuckers at the store, when I see them at the grocery store, when I see them in the mall, motherfuckers don't say shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they walk with their head down and walk right past me. You know what I'm saying? So if any of y'all racist motherfuckers who are leaving me these comments, man, if especially this one motherfucker, man, I think his name is Enslaver88. If you guys go into my comment section uh, on my, my page, you'll see his name. His name is Enslaver88, and he's got a noose as his fucking, um, his little picture or whatever. Click on that motherfucker's page, man, and tell me it, it, this is not the dumbest, most retarded motherfucker you've ever seen, man. Read some of the stats that he got on, on, on his page. He's got this on the side. 
you know, where you can put, you know, where you're from and all that. He's got these stats about, oh, every one in three black men are in jail and and all these dumb, ridiculous um, stats. He's saying that 50 percent, check this, 50 percent of all black men don't fucking graduate high school. That's the fucking most ridiculous stat that I have ever, and I've seen some some bogus bias ass stats before, but this is the most ridiculous shit. It's like he made this shit up. Fifty percent, man. I, man, trust me, man. I went to school where there's a lot of black people. You know what I'm saying, and a lot of Latinos, and it was mixed up pretty well. And man, I probably know about one of them who went to my school who didn't graduate. So with your 50% shit, man, I don't know where the fuck you got that from, man. You need to dedicate your time into doing something else than to focus on hating people because of the color of their skin or their their ethnicity or their culture or what they like to eat and shit like that. Because in my opinion, man, if you don't like chicken, man, and, and, and watermelon and all that shit, man, you can kiss my fucking ass, man. I mean, go let leave me with my chicken and my watermelon. I, let me enjoy my shit. And you go ahead, you eat a hot dog or a hamburger or whatever the fuck it is that you want to eat. You know what I'm saying? But don't try to cut on me and, and, and make yourself seem like you're better than me when you're not. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you go to these people's pages, man, they don't, they're not mad enough to show their face. They don't have no videos that they made personally. They got all this racist shit up on their shit. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know what's pissing me off about this uh, on this YouTube shit is that, see... We all know Filthy Mouth, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's my boy, man. I, I watch all his videos, you know what I'm saying? And I followed that shit, man. I sit back and I watch that shit that happened to him, you know what I'm saying? Where these motherfuckers were jumping on him, calling him N-words and all types of shit. Just, just all derogatory shit. And then when he came back at him, guess what YouTube decided to do? They decided to dis suspend his shit flag his shit down but yet these same motherfuckers who were calling him all these racist de um, derogatory names all their shit is still up you know what i'm saying so this racism shit man gotta stop man by now you would think that we got over this shit man because the reality of it man if we don't get over this shit now man this shit is just gonna keep going and going man these racist motherfuckers are teaching their kids the wrong shit, man. Why do, why do you want to teach your kids to go through life hating another motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, this is a new age, man. And I think personally, these racist people, man, are fucking really upset because they realize that they're now the minority. And I'm not talking about white people. I'm talking about these racist pricks that are on YouTube that are just angry individuals because they realize that hey there's not very many of you anymore you know you're recruiting and all that shit ain't working no more man obama being the president is the prime example of that shit man people aren't looking at that shit anymore the white people as a whole man are starting to accept the fact that we're all human beings man they they and they showed me that by electing obama in the office because he was actually the smarter candidate for the presidency and they made the right decision you know and you got motherfuckers already jumping on obama for every single fucking mistake he make but these are the same motherfuckers who voted for bush after he fucked up our country the first four years they re-elected his ass for another four years to fuck us up some more these same people are mad just because we have a black president now. So if you guys don't want to get with the program, man, go fucking move to Canada, go to Europe, go wherever the fuck you want, man. But this racism shit's got to stop, man. I believe it will eventually. There's always going to be some racism, but as far as the majority of the people being racist, I think that shit is slowly starting to disappear. You know, we got proof of that. So... That's just my thoughts on that, man. That's just some shit I had to get off my chest. Because I've been sitting back on YouTube watching this shit for a while now. Reading these comments that I'm getting, you know, about my race and all that shit. This shit don't have nothing to do with boxing. That's all I talk about is boxing. But yet they feel to go ahead and talk about, you know, my lips or what I'm wearing. Or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that's got them hating on me. You know, go ahead and keep hating. I'm going to keep making these fucking videos. I'm going to keep talking about the sport I love, man. And if you don't like it, man, just navigate away from my fucking page. You understand? All right, man. I'll, I'll get at y'all.